for a full 24 hours. Not that I thought we'd get kicked out or anything. I mean, you're the perfect student and I'm, well, I'm me. But it's just crazy, you know? We've been friends for so long. What are the odds we'd still be together? Well, not together, together. Not that I'm not saying you're not handsome. You are handsome, but that'd just be weird, right? Right. What was I thinking? <laughs> but still, I hope we end up on the same team together. Ooh, we should come up with some sort of plan to make sure we end up on the same team together. What if we bribe that master? No, that won't work. He has a school. I know! We'll have some sort of signal, like a distress signal. <gasps> a secret signal so we can find each other in the forest. Can you imitate a sloth? Nora? Yes, Ren? I don't think sloths make a lot of noise. That's why it's perfect! No one will suspect we're working together. Come on, Nora. Let's go. But not together, together. <laughs> Wonder what those two are so worked up about. Oh, who knows? So, you seem awfully chipper this morning. <laughs> yep, no more awkward small talk or getting to know you stuff. Today, I get to let my sweetheart do the talking. <sighs> well, remember, Ruby, you're not the only one going through initiation. If you want to grow up, you're going to have to meet new people and learn to work together. Ugh, you sound like dad. Okay, first of all, what does meeting people have to do with fighting? And secondly, I don't need people to help me grow up. I drink milk. But what about when we form teams? Um, I don't know. I, I'll i just be on your team or something. Maybe you should try being on someone else's team. My dear sister Yang, are you implying that you do not wish to be on the same team as me? What? No, of course I do. I just thought, I don't know, maybe it would help you break out of your shell. What the? I don't need to break out of my shell. That's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way I put my gear in locker 636 yesterday. I would have remembered having to count that high. Oh, why does this have to happen today? So, Pira, have you given any thought to whose team you would like to be on? I'm sure everyone must be eager to unite with such a strong, well-known individual, such as yourself. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I was planning on letting the chips fall where they may. Well, I was thinking maybe we could be on a team together. Well, that sounds grand. Great! This will be perfect. The smartest girl in class combined with the strongest girl in class. Together, we will be unstoppable. I can see it now. We'll be popular. We'll be celebrities. We'll get perfect grades. Nothing could come between us now. You know what else is great? Me, Jean-Arc. Nice to meet you. You again? Nice to meet you, Jean. Yeah, yeah. So, Weiss, couldn't help but overhear your fondness of me the other day. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Don't worry. No need to be embarrassed. So, been hearing rumors about teams. I was thinking you and me would make a good one. What do you say? Actually, I think the teams are comprised of four students each, so... You don't say. Well, hot stuff. Play your cards right, and maybe you could join up with the winning team. Jean, is it... Do you have any idea who you are talking to? Not the slightest, Snow Angel. This is Pira. Hello again. Pira graduated top of her class at Sanctum. Never heard of it. Uh, She's won the Mistral Regional Tournaments four years in a row. A new record. The what? She's on the front of every Pumpkin Pete's Marshmallow Flake Spa. <clears throat> That's you? They only do that for star athletes and cartoon characters. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Sadly, the cereal isn't very good for you. So, after hearing all of this, do you really think you're in a position to ask her to be on your team? I guess not. Sorry. Actually, Jean, I think you'd make a great leader. No, oh, stop it. Seriously, please stop it. This kind of behavior should not be encouraged. Sounds like Pierre's on board for Team Jean. Spots are filling up quick. Now, I'm not supposed to do this, but maybe I could pull some strings, find a place for you. What do you say? All right, that's a bit too close. Pira, a little help, please? Ah! I'm sorry. Would all first-year students please report to Beacon Cliff for initiation? Again, all first-year students report to Beacon Cliff immediately. It was nice meeting you. Likewise. 
Having some trouble there, Lady Killer? I don't understand. My dad said all women look for is confidence. Where did I go wrong? Snow Angel probably wasn't the best start. Come on, John. Let's go. For years, you have trained to become warriors, and today your abilities will be evaluated in the Emerald Forest. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard rumors about the assignment of teams. Well, allow us to put an end to your confusion. Each of you will be given teammates. Today. What? <laughs> These teammates will be with you for the rest of your time here at Beacon. So it is in your best interest to be paired with someone with whom you can work well. Oh. That being said, the first person you make eye contact with after landing will be your partner for the next four years. What? See? I told you! After you've partnered up, make your way to the northern end of the forest. You will meet opposition along the way. Do not hesitate to destroy everything in your path, or you will die. <laughs> you will be monitored and graded for the duration of your initiation but our instructors will not intervene. You will find an abandoned temple at the end of the path containing several relics. Each pair must choose one and return to the top of the cliff. We will guard that item as well as your standing and grade you appropriately. Are there any questions? Yeah, um, sir. Good, now take your positions. Uh, sir, I've got, um, question. So this landing strategy thing, uh, wh what is it? You're like dropping us off or something? No, you will be falling. Oh, I see. So like, did you hand out parachutes for us? No, you will be using your own landing strategy. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, what exactly is a landing strategy? 